bird feed. Hi right, guys, welcome back to Bird Feed. Got Devin to my right, Michael, and Julie. Bird feed. <laughs> so what are we getting started with today, Devin? Uh, we are talking about uh, our fan cast of Batman with Flashpoint being the official title for the Flash movie coming out in 2019, 2020, yeah. one of those two. Who knows? Uh, there's rumors that this will uh, reset, re <laughs> reset the DCEU and give us a new Batman as there is also rumors of Ben Affleck more than likely by 2019, 2020, whenever the last... The, his Batman movie is so done. Bowing out. Yeah, he's bowing out. So uh, uh, we decided that we were going to fan cast. Uh, a couple of us have some pretty intense choices, <laughs> and then uh, we have a couple of funny ones that we like. Very intense choices Very intense. we're making today. Yeah. Uh, Julie, do you want to start us out? Yeah. Okay, so my number one pick to replace Ben Affleck is this actually... This is your serious pick? My serious pick. Okay. Serious my pick. serious pick is Joel Kinnaman. Okay. Ooh. Yes. All right, and, and tell people if, if they don't know who Joel Kinnaman where, is. Where have we seen him before? Yeah. Where did you specifically see him that made you think he could do this? For me? Mm -hmm. The Killing. Yes, The, the killing. killing from Netflix. Um, Great show. And the way he can do like a dual personality type of character. Like seeing him in The Killing, the way he was as an undercover cop and he was totally believable. And then turning right around and being someone completely different. Like a detective. Was, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. And I think that's something that'd be nice to see in Batman because he is two different people completely. Yeah, I, re he's I really Bruce like Wayne that. And he's Batman. They are two totally different people. Yeah. All right. He did, and he did that so awesome in that show. Like he he would flip the switch. Like he'd be like. Oh yeah. He'd be like kind of uh, you know play like a drug addict type just to get undercover and then. When he go went into like detective mode, like he was a more believable, like serious. You could see him being like a, a Bruce Wayne or yeah. playing that Batman character. If he was a Bruce Wayne, do you think he'd be more like the like the Playboy type, or do you think he'd be a little bit more reserved? Um, in all honesty, he could do it either way. But I think it'd be interesting to see him be a little bit more reserved. Um, yeah. He's always portrayed. They're almost always portrayed as a Playboy, but that's not. Exactly his personality. It doesn't so have to be that. It doesn't have I to think be they kind of they go over the top with that, that yeah. mantra. Yeah. Yeah, I think like the Batman versus Superman was the first time we got like a more of a brooding Bruce Wayne. Yeah. He was, he was more serious, you know. Yeah. Like Christian Bale was like he was like what you're describing, like over the top, like I'm in my land. He's trying extremely way too way hard. Way too hard. Yeah. Way too hard. Almost giving himself up. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's a really good choice for a serious uh, Batman. And All right, Mike, next? What's, what's your, we'll just go down the line, serious picks. So, my serious pick, and I don't know if you guys will agree with this, especially since he's been in Batman movies before, but <laughs> Tom Hardy. <laughs> I had him as my funny pick. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, but he kind of, he, he almost was my funny pick, too, because he's, you know, he's British, for one. He doesn't look like a typical Batman, like, he's kind of, like, a light features, like, like light eyes and all that stuff. He I just, think it would have been a perfect Bruce Wayne, though. He would. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, He'd be a good Bruce Wayne. He could pull the like the Playboy type very well. I think he's very like charismatic. Um, I I think it's hard to picture him in the cowl though. Like that's kind of where I. Yeah, with his face structure, um, clearly that's why they had Bane's mask covering his ears. <laughs> um, but like, I mean, think about how awkward Christian Bale looks. Like if you just look at his head and the. Cowl, yeah, 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 that yeah. is very true. I think Tom Hardy is probably just like he looks more like what you would ideal the ideal Bruce Wayne more so than Christian Bale did, even or Michael Keaton for that matter. Too big Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I think he looked like yeah. There you go. He, had, he couldn't even turn. Yeah. Um, I think he's he kind of looked like Val Kilmer. He'd be similar to Val Kilmer. Okay. Right? Okay. I can yeah, see yeah, it. I can I see it. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> George Clooney, though, huh? Anybody? Yeah. Bat nipples. Well, I mean, that's not his. I costume. still like that movie though. <laughs> oh, Batman and yeah. Robin. Oh man, <laughs> really? We're gonna have another discussion later, but cool off. Like, <laughs> well, you got Lawrence Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Come yeah. on, keep the road there, right? No, yeah. nobody. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Chill. <laughs> All right, Timothy, what we got? Okay, if I have to pick mine, with, and you correct me that he's gonna be uh, Batman in the Flashpoint, I'm still gonna go with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Good choice. Um, more so, he's more of a perfect Batman than necessarily Bruce Wayne. Okay. Um, it's just his. It's the best way I can. His his brew, his brash, just that hard ass that Ben Affleck tries to be in Batman versus Superman, but it's more believable coming from him. 
He's okay. more serious actor, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, yeah. More, he's got those chops. And if you don't know who Jeffrey Dean Morgan is, which is, you're probably living under a rock. <laughs> uh, Watchmen, obviously, the comedian. Uh, Denny from Grey's Anatomy. And then <clears throat> Negan from Walking Dead. If people, yeah. uh, I think that's, uh, that's a no, good point. He, I just, that's what really what I've cut off. I haven't watched it since that part. Yeah, well, I mean, you, I mean we all know that he's Negan in, yeah. in The Walking Dead. But, but, I mean, if you have watched that season, I watched half of it. And, I mean, he's... A pretty good, you know, like I could see him uh, having that Bruce Wayne effect, and then as well as being be able to be Batman, especially with um, his like uh, action sequences as the comedian and the watch. The only thing that gets me, at least at this point, is what's the future of Batman? Do we want to stick him as middle age, or do we want to go young? Because it, it's hard to depict a young Batman compared yeah. to outside of Superman. Everybody else generally is younger than him. Unless they're alien, then I hope they're already general. But if we're just talking about just Batman, the character outside of Bruce, he's perfect for him. Yeah. Yeah. I think he would do, I think in the cowl, he would do an awesome job yeah. too. Yeah. Like being like kind of almost scary. Like he'd be kind of a scary rendition. With that, that new character. suit, I think he, that that suit was made for him. Yeah. He, and he could probably get like buffed up. He's yeah. not a small guy. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he would be like more of like the detective, like behind the scenes, like kind of just staying in the shadows. Which we kind of, you didn't get that much. Detective at all no, really in that movie. No, we don't get like the flashlight in the mouth, like going through the, Anything. the crime scene. And I mean, the movie was pretty. It was pretty much his movie until the very end. In Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's. I think that's a great choice because he. I think he would be so multi-dimensional that he could. He could do Bruce Wayne, and he he could play both sides of the coin. But then he'd be a scary ass Batman. Yeah. 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 All right. So my pig. <laughs> yeah. I won't say do this, but my pig, which. It may surprise some because I went TV star. I chose Jensen Ackles. All right, Supernatural. Dean? Is that the Gambit guy that we like? No, oh, that's no. the no. smaller Dean. Yeah, yeah Dean. 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 Yeah. So I chose him. He's got the voice Batman. already. <laughs> <laughs> got the voice, but I had because uh, I only had one choice. I had Tom Hardy as my uh, kind of funny pick, but I also had him as my maybe. But I had a criteria. For one, I need my Batman tall. Uh, Tom Hardy is five nine. Is he really phone If I remember yeah, correctly, he's yeah, he's shorter than really? Christian Bell. Christian Bell is actually six foot one, if I remember correctly. Wow. Hey, okay. my choice was tall. <laughs> Your choice is tall. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, tall. no, I don't need a short Batman. Because uh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Because if he's going up with some, you know, like Doomsday or Darkseid, he were probably like Dude, 10 he, feet he tall. Played, he played Bane, though. And nobody. <laughs> like, that's the thing. They yeah. made Bane look huge. I don't know. I mean, no one does that movie magic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Michael Keane was a smaller guy too. Right, right. Like, Imagine so, Christian Bale versus Doomsday. I also thought of yeah. I also thought of uh, <laughs> the kid from The Kingsman. Oh, yeah, I thought about that as well. So, long but also then again, I don't want a super young Batman, but yeah. I don't want a Ben Affleck old Batman. We don't want to go you through like, the whole between. origin story. One in between. Again. And Jensen Ackles barely in his mid thirties. Yeah, he's the right age. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's. Done well enough in Supernatural where he can make a jump to movies. Because, um, I mean, most of the, those characters there on the... Uh, the CW's paying them yeah. so well, they don't want to leave. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. this is and, a fan. And he's, yeah. <laughs> and, and he's known, but he is known, though. Yeah. He is known. And he's yeah. been in some horror movies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and so that's what I was kind of thinking. I was, okay, I could... And I and I was also envisioning everyone in the cow. I could think of Tom Hardy as we were talking about earlier. I could totally see him in the cow. Uh, right? And I could totally see him in the cow, too. Plus, I could see him as the... Playboy version of Bruce Wayne. Now, my only my only thing with Jensen Ackles, that's his name? Is that right? Yeah. I hope it's right. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like. Can we just call him Dean? Dean? Yeah, Dean. Dean works. <laughs> do, you, do you think he has the acting ability to be like that on-screen presence that we think of when you think of Batman? I'm not saying he's a bad actor, but he's, he's almost, he's been kind of character cast at this he, point in his career a lot. Yeah, and, and that's the tough part is, I mean, obviously, character cast. I think he doesn't have many movies to show different range. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of went to the part of Supernatural that are kind of like detectives. They are. Because kind of reminded me of Batman yeah. just a little bit. Um, as well as, I went off as the the DCEU, their characters, are, or their, their choices are not necessarily known actors. No one really knew Gal Gadot. No one really knew Jason Momoa. No one really knew... Ray Fisher, no one really knew uh, uh, Ezra Miller. You know, mm -hmm. they're not 
big, huge names. Ben Affleck. He's the biggest name. was the big name. Even yeah. uh, Henry Cavill, like... Yeah, Christian Bale was, like, established, but nobody thought of him as a superstar. Right, that, right. That, that made him a superstar. Yeah, it made him a superstar. So I could kind of see this being, like, his Christian Bale moment. Like, yeah. maybe that first movie's not the greatest, but then maybe he gets a really good villain to help him out in the second movie. It's like a John Boyega type situation. Yeah, yeah. And then and hopefully we also uh, uh, reset Joker. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, mean, I feel love. bad for Joker. I feel bad for Joker too. So much shit about that. I still blame I still blame Warner Brothers for messing that up. Yeah, it was the production, yeah. not him. So, uh, okay. yeah, I had Jensen Ackles as him. Uh, there was a couple other people like going through my head. Uh, I know we were kind of joking. I joked about it too. It was uh, Josh Hartnett. I so, thought about. I do want to hear your explanation on that. Like, how would you see him playing that character? Which one, Josh Hartnett? I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad choice. I'm just curious. Uh, I could imagine him in the cow. Uh, but then as well as the, I personally like the Playboy Batman, you know, the, that's usually how he is. Yeah. You know, Playboy Batman. Um, I just, I just saw it, but then as well as I, I read that article where he was just about casted to be Batman before Christian Bale with Christopher Nolan. So, I mean, if he is almost casted, um, in Christopher Nolan, yeah, yeah, that says something. Now, the only issue I have is I want my Batman to kick ass as well. So people are always thinking like, God, no one knows how to kick ass. <laughs> and I was like, maybe we just throw a total curveball, get the dude from the raid <laughs> to be Batman. Yeah. Give me, give me a uh, what is it? Uh, a Thailand Indonesian Batman. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love it already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just going around pummeling the shit out of everyone. Get the director from the raid. Too. Get the director from the raid. <laughs> I call it good. Or even uh, well, I mean the uh, guy who does. Uh, uh, John Wick, he's already doing Deadpool too, but uh, I would love to see something like that style. Just a uh, pure Batman kick ass, but then again, I mean, I, I had to stop and think Batman's not a, a pure action kick ass, kick ass, kick ass for the whole thing. He is what they call the world's greatest detective. Yep. So that's why I kind of went to Jensen Ackles because, I mean, his show, that's kind of what they do. They're, you know, detectives fight against demons, you know, they find the clues, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So maybe we have a. Uh, 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 Jared uh, Padalecki as a uh, Robin. What was yeah, the Nightwing? Name? A very tall ass Nightwing. What was the guy who played Two-Face? Yeah. Dark Knight. Who uh, was the guy who played Two-Face? Red Hood, actually. Make him Red Hood. Oh. Red Hood. That's my storyline. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> who, who was the guy who played uh, Two-Face in Dark Knight? What was that guy? Oh, uh, I'm, uh, Aaron Eckhart. Aaron Eckhart. He could play Batman. He, he could, could play Batman. Batman. He'll be a good <laughs> Bruce. I think he's perfect. He's, he's, he's got that chin, Bruce. big time, mm-hmm. fucking yeah. huge chin. Just make uh, uh, Conroy from the animated be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Just use his voice the entire time. Did, so, did you have any other choices outside of your little Aaron Eckhart <laughs> mention there? That was probably my only other one I could think of. Outside of, I still think Ben Affleck should just continue yeah. on. Just pay yeah, a shitload of money. Yeah, ben, I mean, ben, the thing with Ben Affleck, like, he gave us, like, without a doubt, I mean, even if it's not a lot in that Batman versus Superman, but, like... One of the coolest portrayals of Batman. Right, yeah. especially that warehouse scene. Like, oh, holy man. fuck. It was the first time <laughs> we've ever seen him do, like, video games. Oh, I guess God. at this point, what is his... What is what does he want to do? Is he tired of it? He just feel like he's getting old, or well, Warner Brothers shit on his movie, shit on his movie, shit on his script, because he was going to direct Batman, mm-hmm. and yeah. they wrote a script for like it took him like four months. So yeah, like, so you and think even now that, that the, the we may not even get Deathstroke in the Batman movie. Oh really? The guy that they were wanting for Deathstroke, uh, the dude from one thing. Fuck, I get True Blood. True. Oh, Magic Michaels. Um, <laughs> okay. And I, and I was looking for a genius. I, I kept seeing his face too, and I was like, "Those are pretty Deathstroke, Julie." Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Were you I was just thinking about that it? stuff, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I like movies, okay? Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, but yes. Uh, uh, he's also, what's her face? His husband. Uh, the, the, oh, um, Sophia Vergara. Sophia Vergara. I forget his name. I know her. Joe, <laughs> d- d- m- b- 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 Joe Manginello. Manginello, yeah. Weird name. Which I, I know, I don't remember his name. I think he could be yeah, an okay Deathstroke. Um, I like the Deathstroke from... Well, it would, but they're both big guys. Like, it would have been so yeah. cool seeing those guys, like, fight, you know? I think it's Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, I mean, has that chin. He's tall. Um, but the, also the question is is his age. And right now, Warner Bros. How old is he? He's almost... He's 40... He's almost 50. I think he's 48. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and the thing is, is Warner Brothers, at first, they they're, they're were like, you know what? We're going to just shit out our pants. Movies back to back to back to back. But with back... Excuse me. Backlashes from... Uh, 
uh, Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad, they've actually kind of taken a step back. Switch and uh, yeah, oh boy. And it's all good. It's all my keyboard. Uh, <laughs> and so they took a step back, and they they've slowed things down. Like Aquaman, yes, is in production right now, um, but they kind of stepped back. You know, they kind of like we they have Shazam, they have Black Adam supposedly. Oh gosh, no Shazam. Um, yeah, so I mean, so they have these you know names out there. The the collected uh, Green Lantern movie. Yeah. Um, which I still say Green Lantern appears in Justice League. I like your John Stewart pick, by the way. Like, oh, not to go on too much of a tangent. Please, but just, nail that. Just, just give it to him already. He, he wants you to play. John oh yeah, oh yeah. You just able to, is has to be. I John mean, if we have to have Tyrese, it's okay, I guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he's he's a great actor. He's a serious actor. Tim, I hope you're joking. I think oh, you're joking. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna but... see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> like, do we need to go to his character in Transformers? <laughs> Come on, he's a he's a oh, pivotal man. character. In that movie. And all he's doing is screaming about his back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Left cheek! Left cheek! Oh god. He nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. He was totally missing from the last Transformers. I was so disappointed. Oh, um, well, he was in the last I do, there is a fan cast. He wasn't in the last There is a fan cast for uh, Halster to be an Arnie Hammer, which I'm like, kind of okay oh, with. Oh, the big dude, right? The yeah. Tall or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. I'm kind of okay with that. That's that's decent. So, since, so. We're, since we're back on track, um, I actually thought um, Carl Urban would be a good Batman. Have you seen Red? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what picture of the cow. Yep. Yeah. Being a total badass. Like if we wanted just like a fucking brutal Batman, not necessarily killing people. Maybe uh, uh, the the, show, the, people. the the John Wick director's Batman. I can see yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yep. Wouldn't have much of a story. But <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I I think Carl Urban he's a very good actor. He I think he was nominated for an Oscar like ten years ago or something along those lines. For a supporting actor, but he he can do both sides of it. He's kind of a likable guy. Like he, in Star Trek, he's funny and stuff and that. But he's he's big. He's physical. I think he'd be a good Ben Affleck replacement. All right. All right. They want to go kind of keep in line with that. Yeah. And did you? Sorry. Well, buddy. Oh, we're good. We're <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, did you have another choice? I just had my funny choice. Oh Just yeah, what's funny the funny choice? choice? Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, be like Max Payne. <laughs> that's, about, that's a short oh guy. Oh, he is a short guy. What are you talking about? What? Batman? No. <laughs> so how do you mark him? What? what? What's Joker doing here? You want to have another drink? I want to have another drink. I'm a playboy. I'm not going for balls. This is wicked. Where's Bumblebee? Why Bumblebee leave? <laughs> Me? I'm an inventor. I can imagine him getting out, I can get, imagine him getting out of the uh, Batmobile from uh, the Christian Bale series and just yeah, tripping out because it's so big. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. Where'd that step come from? <laughs> Slam against kind of big. I look a little small. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say, how do you motherfucker? He trips over his own cape. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said it was funny. I love that. I love the funny one. That was a great that one. That was a very good one. What was your funny, Mike? Did you uh, have funny? My funny one would be, it's not necessarily funny, but... Well, then I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no, <laughs> no, if they if they did, uh, you guys know the Kingdom Come story with uh, it's older Superman and older Bruce Wayne? Okay, yeah, yeah. If they did that, I want to see Michael Keaton and have John Hamm play Superman. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. John like, Hamm. Yeah, just like, like, <laughs> aging dude and like... Bring back Tim Burton, make a super fucking weird Batman. Uh, from uh, Baby Driver, I'd like to see uh, John Hamm still as Superman, but uh, Kevin Spacey as uh, Batman. Like Batman Beyond? <laughs> yeah. <I think>. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's a that good choice. Be interesting. Yeah, well, Kevin Spacey can do anything. Yeah. Well. yeah. Spacers. Uh, okay. Can we just bring back George Clooney? Yeah, man. I mean, that was everybody's favorite Batman. Of course. Obviously yours, everyone's. apparently. <laughs> Quick question. We've all seen the Justice League trailer, right? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Uh, who do you think was at the very end? Oh, at the very end, uh, we were texting about this, weren't we? Yeah, I had an interesting uh, take because I was reading something that made totally sense. I read one that said it was Green Lantern. Lantern. Yeah, that's what yeah. I did. Julie, what do you think? Did, did we watch the trailer? Yet? I don't think I've seen it. Oh, anyway. it's a long trailer. Man, you have a lot to watch it tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm going trailers. to Spider-Man after this. <laughs> and then uh, we'll watch the launch trailer. Yeah. Uh, uh, people are saying it's uh, Supergirl. There is a part in the trailer where you see Bruce Wayne looking at a screen and it looks like a, a, a Superman cape, but it has Supergirl boots. What? So people are that saying would be interesting, well, that's an introduction okay, to so Supergirl. Is she part of the Justice League? Huh? Is she part of the Justice League, Supergirl? 
later on. Later on, you know. <laughs> sort of. But I mean, I can see it makes sense. I can see it makes sense. She's a recurring team. Because, team up member? Because okay. Steppenwolf during the trailer says there's no Kryptonians, there's no lanterns, okay. uh, there's no protectors. People have been like, well, maybe there is a Kryptonian. Oh. That's not necessarily true. Yeah. Let's get real. Yeah, well, that's in he, yeah. he thinks that. But oh, okay. that's not the truth. Yeah. All right. Well, so, okay, let's. So when you watch the trailer again, uh, you'll see the part I'm talking about. Bruce Wayne is just staring at a screen, and you see in the, the left-hand side, it's just red, and then you can see a boot. Did you but see the, the freeze frame of this or something? Or? Yeah, someone had a... Uh, okay. look up. But I if I find it, I'll send it to you. But the so, boot is not necessarily uh, Superman's, uh, what was it, red boot or whatever. It was, uh, and it looked like a feminine boot, too. It's like a high heel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll need to see this now. Okay. I'll, we'll check that out, then. Yeah. Is that, that it we got for? Real quick, uh, Justice League, what's the, what's the uh, opinion? The hype level? Yeah. It's hyped. I, I, dude, I, I'm kind of like Batman vs. Superman. I was even killed for that one, and it... You like it, it, though. Yeah, and it exceeded my expectations. I want to stay the same. I can't get too hyped for it and be disappointed. I hope I hope that you stay track as they did with Wonder Woman and have trailers that are not too spoilery. Uh, I almost thought that trailer, it was on the cusp of giving us too much. Though. It was. like it, I really hope they do a Super Bowl thing because like we've seen everything, it feels like. Yeah, but, uh, but then again, I've heard that the runtime is almost three hours. Jeez. Uh, That's what the reshoots are for, another hour yeah, of runtime. So, uh, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure it's not anything to see. But, but uh, I'm, from what I've seen is we're getting a lot of Steppenwolf, so I'm pretty sure cool there's too. quite a bit of set pieces and whatnot. Because obviously you see a part of him throwing uh, his axe uh, at Atlantis uh, against uh, uh, Aquaman and uh, uh, Aqua Girl. What's her name? Oh, the chick. Yeah. The chick. Uh, Johnny Depp's ex. Johnny, yeah, the one Johnny Depp kept beating up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I seriously heard. doubt that. Ever heard. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're there. And then yeah, also uh, he fights. Uh, right. He it looks like he lands on the... Uh, uh, the Mascara Island, and fights those badass uh, Is that women. Aquaman or yeah, Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman's, Woman's people, Amazon. yeah. Yeah, they oh, are in the Amazon movie, aren't they? Yeah. That's what I've yeah, seen. Yeah, they are. Yeah? They show cool. her. I still need to see Wonder Woman. But... I have a feeling it's going to be like a quick little, either like a flashback, or it's going to be like a quick five I feel like the story is going to just be all over the damn place. Which I'm ta- with these team-up movies, that's the problem. Yeah, they try to do too much, and even if it's three hours, like you have, what, six, seven, eight characters mm-hmm. now? Oh, and you have to focus. go find them all, and hear a little bit about yeah. their backstories. And... But it's gonna be a great two weeks because uh, they come out uh, one week apart: Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. Oh, really? Which one's first? Thor Ragnarok. Oh, well, that's gonna. If, 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 if Justice League's not that good, that's gonna really suck. Right. So. If Thor's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's it. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to Birdfeed PC. All our pages on SoundCloud, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are all BirdFeedPC, all lowercase, all one word.